Hello guys and welcome back to Linda's Home and Style and I just want to introduce today's video. We are going to make some nyamachoma using the pressure pot and the air fryer. Then we also want to make some yummy kachumbari. Then I'll show you uh, like a tour of my kitchen garden. Uh, you remember I had planted some vegetables. I want to show you malizimifika sai. Then we also gonna make some banana bread. And then I also have some mini shopping. Then you get to see my new hair. So guys, please watch and subscribe. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just so tight. I'm, I'm a bad. Hello guys and welcome back. I just want to share my new hair. Okay, I love it. In a kapoa, bohemian knotless braids, yeah, knotless braids, and I mix three colors to achieve this uh, color. Yeah, I'll, I'll do like a video up on Bele Kuonesha Vlinaka Vizuri, but yeah, I really love this color. I do it at tangle up and everything, but for now, let me just enjoy my new hair in a kapoa, in a kapoa, in a kapoa. But we can end our toilet, Unachunga is singing kwa toilet bowl, eh. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So let's continue with the video. I'm a, I'm a baddie. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just so tight. I'm a, I'm a baddie. So these are some of the groceries that I've come back with from the market. <laughs> and, uh, First of all, we have some onions. Isn't he? I think um, 3 kgs of onions going for 320. Then we have these tomatoes here. These tomatoes are 300 in Nakuru. So compared to Nairobi, things in Nakuangapo are in terms of vegetables. Then some beetroot. Then we have some cabbages, this one and that one. Then we have some carrots. You need 3 kg. I think 3 kg of carrots, if I'm not wrong. Then uh, colored pepper. Yeah. Then we have some avocados, uh, dania, and uh, maize. Of course, maize ni kuchemsha for me. Because, you know, I love uh, boiled maize. Then we have some uh, watermelon and uh, pineapple. So here we have some chicken, of course, uh, broiler, one, two, three. Then we have some kienyeji chicken, two of them. Then we have omena for the dog. <laughs> then we have some bio yogurt, of course. So guys, I know, like, si Jamaliza kusema the shopping that I had bought, but I had to stop because my sons were just making fun of me. Like I was talking, they repeat what I'm saying. So yeah, let's make some marinade for our nyamachoma. So for the nyamachoma marinade, you can basically add in whatever you fancy. But for me, I ended up adding some red wine vinegar, some paprika with some salt and a beef nor a cube. I'm a, I'm a baddie. Yeah, I know I look better than all the girls that you know before. Had your chance, but I'm not playing anymore. Come through, get your bags with the method door. Silly boy, silly boy, silly boy. Feeling good, change my hair and you can't ignore. I'm in my bag, in my So when you're putting your meat in the marinade solution, just make sure like you're using a fork to, to bought some holes so that the flavors can get in your meat when you're storing in the fridge to marinate. So guys, you can remember I cut my finger so bad and uh, I can't use the vegetable cutter as in I'm trying to, but I can't. I still get chills when I think of the pain that I went through. So here I'm just using the food processor to like slice or yeah, slice my ingredients for making the kachumbari. You step by yourself. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just so tight. I'm a, I'm a baddie. I'm a, I'm a baddie. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just so tight. I 
and by the way guys that food processor is considered one of the best food processors in the world currently and yeah it can also peel your potatoes and carrots and even cucumbers so it's a it's a great investment to have in your house so i ended up mixing my kachumbari and what i do is like uh put the tomatoes and the iced onions clean them up like you rinse them then you just uh, mix everything up together with some dania and uh salt and some lemon juice yeah i know i look good good yeah i know i look in my cash up for all the time you wasted skin so tight i don't need a facelift drip so high i got the diamond bracelet got the diamond bracelet you try to play all these games but i'm staying woke you can never keep a job so you're staying broke I don't need a man, yeah, I'm good by myself. Spending this money and I made it myself. Now I'm good. So again, after mixing my kachumbari, like I make sure everything is mixed up properly and uh, the juice is there. I just wrap in a clinging film. Then I set in the fridge to chill kabisa kabisa because I really love my kachumbari so cold. Eh? Put up and you stick by yourself. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type. I'm, I'm a baddie. So guys, this is how I now make my kachumbari. I usually take a foil, the aluminum foil, and I like create a basin in the middle just to hold my meat so that I can wrap it without the juices like pouring out. I'm, I'm a baddie. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. So after that, I used the pressure pot to like uh, soften the meat enough. So I just like uh, put the steaming rack, then I pour in some water, then I place in the meat for like 20 minutes. After that, I just use my air fryer or my grill to grill the meat or to air fry the meat. And then I get my nyamachoma. So this is the process. Uh, like after you've uh, removed it from the pressure cooker, you just place it there in the air fryer or the grill and it will do the magic so guys you can see the nyamachoma is now ready and it's giving like it's giving all the flavors are there because we've marinated it and now it was now time to chop and eat and you can see it's soft because i can just cut in easily it's soft and then uh the flavors like zimihifadhiwa up on dani and for this meal we just uh ate it with some ugali namnajua unga ugali nile nimesiaga mwenyewe so yeah this is a whole meal plus the kachumbari and uh, veggies on the side So guys, let me take you to one of my passions. I have several, but I guess you guys know I love gardening so much. And yeah, I just want to give you an update of the vegetables we planted. So yeah, I think Mona pumpkin leaves. He's in Ikunde, Nikona Skuma, Nikona cabbage, both the white cabbage and the red cabbage. I have some hoho. I have some herbs like the chamomile, the basil the chives, the rosemary, the sage, like I have like most of, of my herbs are in my garden. I've also planted some trees like here in Monapo, it's like a lemon tree. And guys, this is something that I do not just to get organic food, but it's a form of therapy for me. And I ended up uh, like harvesting some uh, leeks and uh, what do you call it? Beetroots today. So yeah, this is something that is fulfilling, very fulfilling. Here happen ni curled parsley. Yeah, and uh, it's just something nice that you can do, especially if you have like even a little space in your backyard. Yeah, you just do it and uh, it will flourish and you'll get to enjoy the mazaos. Yeah. 
After the garden, let me just show you how I make my banana cake. And uh, if you're a fan of this uh, channel, you know, like in the other videos, I've been making banana cakes uh, or banana bread. This is something that uh, we fancy in our home. So first, what you want to do is to get like very ripe bananas, like four of them, mash them up like into a paste. Yeah, that is what I'm doing now. After that, you'll just uh, place them in the mixing bowl, add in your sugar and your margarine. And uh, I also do add in some vanilla essence just to get the flavors going. I also do add in some nutmeg or uh, cinnamon or uh, mixed spice, not mixed herbs, just to get everything going. Then I also add in my buttermilk and flour. And uh, today I ended up adding ile jagari, ile skaringuru nyimesiagwa, that one, just to get the flavors going, yeah, and to get that nice brown color. And of course, let's not forget the eggs. Hide for everyone to understand it. But you're in my heart. Even though it feels like we got stranded. And I wish I could get to Without a screen cutting through buckets of water, millions of clouds, miles of road just to get where you are. Oh, I and guys, for my flowers, you know, I love the X brand, yeah. So I'm using like uh, the purple self raising flower because I know when I'm using it, I don't need to add any raising ingredients in my baked stuff yeah or uh, the things i'm going to bake and again i just love the x flour so you guys you can notice like uh, this mixer this uh mixer is really acting up of late like uh, i it's not mixing to perfection and then it's peeling everything out so i'm like thinking do i get a hand mixer and stop using this thing because after you've mixed your stuff the cleaning you're gonna do is just massive. Wish it wasn't so far. Thousands of dollars just to be near. Countless thoughts of you being here. Oh, I wish it guys after mixing my butter it was uh, now time to pour it in the baking tin and yeah i wanted it to come out like a bread so that is why i used this uh, bread tin and uh, these are the results you can see uh, the cake is just nice and uh, if you want to enjoy like the real sweetness of a cake let it sleep let's let it like if you've made it 
uh, today evening acha ikae mpaka kesho kia asubuhi for you to enjoy the real flavors and again guys i just want to say thank you for watching thank you for being here and keep on subscribing guys and let's grow together